my name is Greg and I'm just going to explain to you quickly about the solar leap equipment that we use. We're running a solar powered classroom and this is the solar equipment. We have four panels up on the roof, four solar panels, and then we produce electricity and we are saving it in these batteries here. These are 2 volt, 300 amp hour each, so we end up with a 24 volt system. So it basically consists of the batteries, the battery pack, and then we have an inverter here, which is uh, converting the DC power into AC to run all the equipment. It can produce uh, 2 amps of power, and then we have a solar charger inside here. Uh, the solar charger is collecting the electricity, the DC voltage from the uh, solar panels and it safely places it into the batteries and it regulates the charge so that the batteries don't boil. So they won't overcharge and we won't damage the batteries. So there's a regulation system and then the DC to AC power output. So that's pretty much our power system and then from there we run all the, the computers. So I have a long association with the monastery here at Mojun from the time of Psycho Nagas and the relief effort after that. And then I was approached by people from Hong Kong from Solar League to look for a site to install a solar powered computer lab. And then I selected this place because I already had an association with them and I thought it would be suitable because they run free monastic education services for children in this area. It's about 500 students here. And then I brought Solar League to here and showed them the place and I selected from that. So I picked this place because I thought it would be suitable and because the electricity is very bad here that they won't be able to run this technology here. So one of the criteria is that we put uh, technology for education in places that don't have access to electricity or the internet. We also have a contact access point which has got about a 500 gig hard drive in it which is where we store our data. Our systems are designed to be run in remote areas where they don't have internet access so we store the data on this content access point and then all the computers in the room are able to access this point through Wi-Fi. So we are hosting the data that is used in the, in the computer set in the room. And then is this uh, computer installation we have uh, 20 uh, computers and each one is actually a small mini computer that's attached to the back of a screen. So these, we selected these because they use a low amount of power. Because we're running everything off solar power, we have to use low powered computers. In the past we were custom designing those, but in present we're able to buy uh, units already made. So we just plug them on the back and load on um, Ubuntu software on them so that we can run the lab off those. So each computer is a small mini computer with low power usage and a screen and the mouse and the keyboard. And one more thing that I need to mention is that the whole unit, the solar part component was donated by our Fast Power from Hong Kong or Plug the Sun. They run under two different names. So they, they donated this whole set of equipment for us to perform this installation here in Mojo.